Hello viewers, welcome back. I have managed to move in my new apartment. You see new background, so that's going to be the new background for all videos from now on. But not to waste time, I have now more time uh, focusing on the free energy. And for today I prepared for you Cleodenton pendulum structure. Now we are getting back to perpetual motion. So let's see what Cleodenton designed it. Alright viewers, so this is Cleo Denton pendulum structure. It's a typical pendulum as you can see. I will now demonstrate how this works and then explore components one by one and try to uh, yeah, show you why this should work longer than maybe other pendulums. But generally for those, one, for those who do not understand, the pendulum is here in the middle. If I now push the rotate button, button so this should spin uh, left yeah? and kick to the spring and then right to the spring. But if you see that on the bottom there are also springs, so that would actually kick each in each position. Now will be uh, moved up and down yeah? from these springs, so that would help to continue. So basically if we would have a perfect pendulum this in the middle, this would really help. Yeah? because. Uh, uh, if we have the perfect bearing, frictionless bearing, maybe magnetic bearings, I don't know. Yeah? And if maybe this chamber would be in the vacuum so that air would not interfere with uh, or stop this pendulum, this could work for a very long time. Yeah, that's logical. But generally this is it. Yeah? Nothing special with the pendulums. So, th so this opening uh, here you can see, basically this is uh, that you use your fingers to start it and then it continues to swing left and right. If I hide now the, the let's say this housing, now we are left with the pendulum in the middle which is mounted on the bearing. Yeah? Uh, there are some weights on the top a perfect ratio weights on the top and on, on the bottom of this pendulum yeah? and then uh, on, we have four springs you can see on the left side and two on the left and two on the right side and yeah these uh, springs would help when this pendulum reaches left side to kick it back or right side to kick it back yeah? from up and from down so in theory if we are really having uh, this may be in vacuum uh, and start it, uh, start it manually or digitally or I don't know, somehow. Uh, uh, it would spin, it would let's say swing a long time. But due to the physics law it should stop because of the friction or because of the air yeah, which is opposing when this swings left and right. But generally that's basically it. So this is a very interesting pendulum structure and now on I'm going to explore some uh, gravity gravity uh, devices which use gravitational energy to create free energy. Yeah, so that's going to be interesting. But from now, uh, for now you have to be satisfied <laughs> with this pendulum. Until next video, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.